Hello there, welcome to the seventh day of my daily art thing. One week, yay. Um, <laughs> uh, it was Saturday, cartoon day. I'll put up the schedule here. Um, yeah, I was really excited for this day, but I think I kind of messed up in a few different ways, and I'll talk about that after the time lapse. But other than that, I don't really have much to say, so yeah, um, I'll just let that run and then talk about what I did well and what I can work on in the future. Uh, yeah. Hello again. Um, yeah, so this is the result of my cartoon day. I can't say I'm very happy with the result. The result. Uh, I made a few novice errors, or novice. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, one thing I did uh, poorly was that I used the black Copic marker for line work. Um, yeah, it's not meant for that, uh, apparently. Um, it didn't really work very well. Uh, as you can see, the lines are all really wobbly, and that's because the brush tip kind of is not meant for really thin, fine, long, continuous lines. Uh, so, yeah, that's something I learned. Um, I do think I'm improving in the shading, though. I think I've also figured out more how to use the Copic markers. You gotta use more than one layer, really, to actually get rid of any streakiness that they might have had from, like, going over each other, or from, like, the lines going over each other a little bit. So you have to do, like, a few different layers of them. Um, yeah, so I don't really know how to work on cartoon skills. I think just doing it will probably help um, the design. I, at the beginning, you probably saw that I experimented with a few different designs. Um, well, two different designs, not really very many, but uh, yeah, I think I'll continue doing that. One thing, though, I do have a drawing tablet for my computer, so I'll probably use that to draw the cartoon characters in the future because it's a lot easier to make super smooth lines because the way it works is that, like, the, little, the line goes towards your cursor, not directly where it is and directly where you draw, so, like, the lines get really smooth. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably use that in the future for doing cartoon drawings because I feel like a really crisp, nice color or crisp, nice lines will probably lend themselves well to a cartoony uh, design. So... Yeah, I don't really have much else to say about this, because I'm not sure exactly how to improve at drawing cartoon stuff. Uh, I think one thing I can do is just be more patient, because with the black Copen marker, also it, a little, it bled a little bit into the, the colors, so I, I don't think it would have done that if I had just waited a bit. So I think I just need to work, like, work on patience, and also to spend more time in the penciling, area, because as you can see, his eyes aren't exactly the same, his hands aren't exactly the same, and even his boots aren't exactly the same, and the pants also look a bit weird, and I could have fixed all that if I just had redrawn it more than just the first time I did it, so, um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video, tomorrow is Animal Day, um, not sure exactly what I'm going to draw for that, but... Yeah, uh, hopefully you'll stick around. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't have much else to say. Thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.